What is going on beautiful people and thank you for joining me today for another beer review. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. Now this one should be interesting because it's Beer Moretti. If you're a follower of the channel, you know I love Beer Moretti, the UK brewed version, not. Uh, but this one is the different Beer Moretti. As you can see, it's not just any Beer Moretti, this one. It's Beer Moretti's Saudi Mare, which I think means unfiltered premium lager in Italiano. And another thing that's interesting, underneath the unfiltered premium lager, it says, with a little hint of sea salt, but the old salt bay to make things interesting, shouldn't it? So, where did I get it from? Tesco's, how much it costs? £3.45 for one bottle. And is it a part of a three for six pound deal or any such deal like that, you may ask? Yeah, it's not. It's just £3.45 for one bottle. Fair enough, it's a 660ml bottle. But this has got to be some seriously good beer to warrant paying that. You might as well go to the bloody pub and talk to people and have it off cast, you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, you know, let's give it a chance. If it's really nice, it could be one for a special occasion or whatnot. Let's have a little look at the uh, spill on the back and see whether we get seduced into uh, trying this beer. Right, dive into the full-flavoured refreshment with Beer Moretti Saldimere. Born from the Italian coast, a medium-bodied premium lager at 4.8% ABV. Unfiltered for a natural haze and enriched with a hint of Italian sea salt. Right, and then you continue reading, and it's brewed in the UK. Eesh! Fuck the lot of you, they say. It's brewed in the UK, and it's not even brewed by Moretti. It's brewed by Heineken in the UK. So there you go. There was me hoping this would be the actual Italian Moretti because the UK brewed version of Moretti is absolutely shocking. I honestly think it's one of the worst lagers going, especially to claim to be premium. How is that premium? I couldn't even finish the last part of it I had. But hopefully this is better. It's got a bit of salt in it and it's unfiltered. But then you start thinking, um, I've got a kitchen out there and I've got sea salt in that kitchen. If I really wanted salt in me fucking lager, I could quite easily make that happen. Do you know what I mean? Go in the kitchen, get me fucking sea salt, put it in the lager, job done. But no, let's use it as an excuse to make a new beer. Everybody will think they're drinking something well special. Now, I've not tried this beer. It might be absolutely lovely and I'll look a right tit, but I can't help but going into it with my doubts, you know? And uh, yeah, just making them known. There's a look at your bottle cap. If you're a collector of the bottle cap, that's what she looks like. Let's crack her open and dive into this beer. But I was shocked at the price. Three pounds forty-five for one bottle. Fucking hell. Right. Oh, do you know how much salt this beer actually contains? 0.001% salt. So that 00.1% salt is the excuse to make a new beer. And it says it's unfiltered. I'm looking at it straight away. It don't look unfiltered to me. It does not look unfiltered to me. I would say it looks slightly less filtered than your average lager, but that is not an unfiltered lager for me. It'd be way hazier and way cloudier. That has definitely had some filtration for me. As you can see, it doesn't look all that cloudy at all. It's got a slight haze to it which is uh, giving them an excuse to call it unfiltered. It's a bit like Stella unfiltered, you know? In fact, I think even Stella unfiltered looks more filtered than this. Carbonation is going absolutely fucking crazy. It's like, save me from this salty beer. The head is uh, turning into like a nice ice cream looking uh, head. Um, mental levels of carbonation in that. And uh, yeah, very white foamy head indeed. It's going to be hard to get me a uh, hooter in there and uh, check out the arenas of this Bia Moretti. What was it called again? Sal Di Marie Unfiltered Premium Lager with a little hint of a salt bay. Let's check out the arenas. Let's get rid of a bit of that head. It's 
as far as heads goes, that is not good head. I am not hopeful by that aroma. It smells as generic as you like. It's a little sweetness of malts, like a sweet malty. It just smells like a proper generic, average, shitty, macro piece of crap brewed in UK lager with a little bit of salt. That's what I can really say about it. It looks quite nice in the glass, to be fair. It does look very premium looking and all that. Um, hopefully it tastes all right. I mean, if it, I'll be honest, if I like it, I like it. And I hope I do like it. Actually, I don't because it's bloody expensive. But anyway, I will be honest and let you guys know what I really think. Let's uh, chuck it down the neck. Cheers, everybody. Bosh. Let's forget about what cheers is in Italian because it's not bloody Italian. It's brewed in the UK by Heineken. We all wanted that, didn't we? Of course we did. I think in Italy, by the way, it's like five and a half percent. It's unfiltered version. So again, you know, brew it in the UK, make it weaker and shit and no doubt. They'll drink anything over there, them slags. Right, that head is still building. Right, let's just chuck it down next if it's any good. Idea. Let me go again. Oh. Shit. Absolute bag of shit. It's really not much different to the normal variety. It may be slightly better than the normal variety. But that is literally, for me, one of the worst lagers you can get, the UK Brew Moretti. And this is just a Nat's cock better, but it's still complete shit. It's got that nasty, horrible, astringent, tinny bitterness on the end of it, which the normal Moretti has. And I'll tell you what, you can put as much salt in the beer as you like. You cannot get rid of that disgusting aftertaste this beer has. It really, it, the aftertaste is absolutely disgusting. It, it's really no different from Moretti. It's just a complete gimmick to try and make people think they're buying a better version of Moretti. If I'm being perfectly honest and not holding back and just saying what it reminds me of, it reminds me of just get a beer Moretti, yeah, and spunk in it. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like a beer moretti that someone spunked in that's giving it a slightly salty aftertaste to go along with that disgusting and stringent bitterness on the end. Swampy, UK brewed, disgusting, shameful beer. Um, these are just one after another coming thick and fast in the UK. There are so many shitty beers. And I tell you, this is right up there with the shittest of them, in my opinion. Um, just the whole cheek of it. I mean, at least brew it in in Italy and at least make it, sorry, at least it looks unfiltered. That does not look unfiltered. Yeah, it's got a tiny little haze to it. That's not unfiltered. It's just fucking clear, pretty much. <sighs> Last night when I was doing me live, I was drinking Brewdog Lost and Aldi's um, Ridebacker. They're really cheap. You can buy four or five hundred mil cans of that Brewdog Rheinbacker for the price of one of these bottles and it tastes better. And it ain't got no salt in it or spunk. So make it make sense. Complete and that's a pointless beer. As I say, maybe slightly better than the original. If you like the original, uh, the original UK Brewed Moretti, then give it a try. That's the only way I could recommend this. If you like the dirty, disgusting bitterness on the original Moretti, Perhaps you might like this, but for me, it's a complete bag of shit. And I hope nobody buys it and then it fucks back off to the UK. Because it was never from Italy. It just there's nothing to it. It's just the most generic, asshole, spunky tasting beer with a tiny little bit of spice, tiny bit of sweet malt on the start. And like I say, a, a stringent, nasty bitterness with a bit of spunky salt in there. 
and that's 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 the excuse to bring out this new beer uh it's not for me um if you want salt in your beer like i said earlier just go in your fucking cupboard you can have some pepper as well if you want what's the point in it they're fucking, they're absolutely mugging us all right off. How can you charge £3.45 for that? You'd want some sort of relief for that, wouldn't you? That is absolutely disgusting beer. Uh, absolutely disgusting price. Brewed by an absolutely disgusting company, Heineken, which I've made other videos about. Feel free to check them out if you want to know some more of the shit that Heineken get up to, including more fake beers like this. And including even Heineken itself having different versions of the same fucking beer next to each other in the shop that tastes completely different. And they're clearly completely different beers. Go check them out. Anyway, sorry it's been a bit of a ranty type video. But when something's shit, I'm going to have to say it's shit. Um, and yeah, this is... I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10. It's literally a spunky asshole, disgusting fake beer. And uh, I cannot give it any more than 2 out of 10. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Smash that like button. If you've enjoyed this little uh, beer review slash telling you how shit this beer is, consider subscribing to the channel for more reviews just like this. And if you've made it this far, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. That's very nice of you. Until next one, guys. Bye-bye, darlings.